Hi again, uh, you're joining me on this cold, misty morning. I need to do my brake pads on my van. I'll show you me doing one side of them. Uh, first, I'm going to take the wheel off, then I'll push the wheel underneath, and then put a block on, so I'll block the van up, because it's only on a trolley jack at the moment, and then we'll get the pad changed. So firstly, I'm going to get the wheel off with the d -Wall Impact, and then, yeah, I'll get the pads fitted. They're not too bad to do on these. Oh, I'm a bit out of puff now because I had to use a breaker bar. I went up, when I checked the pads, I went up on the third, tighten them back up on the third on there, and they are so tight. This wouldn't undo it, wouldn't undo it the other way. So it um, has got its limitations, and that was so tight, I had to put this breaker bar on it, that breaker bar on it, and stand on it, and that weren't easy then. They were all my weight standard on it. But anyway, they've got their limitations, but... I think when I put it back on, I think I'm going to put it back on to the two setting rather than the three. The three is too tight. For now, I should be able to undo them. I'd like to be honest on my channel, some people would hide the fact that it didn't undo it. But, yeah, it did. It did. I'm not sure what impact actually would have done. To be fair. An air one might have done. If had enough air behind it. Also, I'm running it on that battery. Now, you can get better batteries, but this should have been enough. But obviously, it wasn't. But anyway, and it was fully charged. Yeah, and it was fully charged as well. But anyway, it's off now. I'm just going to lay the wheel under there for safety. I'm just cutting in here because I didn't show you this properly the other side. I've got the wheel, then I've got a big oak uh, bit of sleeper, and then a block on top. So if the jack does fail, it should be safe. Yeah, so safety always has to come first. So make sure you're working safely under the vehicle because trolley jacks can fail. So uh, have a backup, which that is my backup. That, that will work if that jack fails. That will keep the vehicle up and safe. So yeah, just wanted to put that in because I missed that out the other side. So now the wheel's off. Um, there's two of these caps to come off. I can only really show you one because the other one's hidden above, but it's the same process on both. Take that little cap off, just like a little dust cap. And then I've got my Allen key, I'm not sure what size it is, but and then got one to undo there. So I'll just show you this one, the same process for the top, which is, you can't see actually, it's just, just above. So we'll see if we can film, we'll just so you can see the whole process. I think that one's undone. The second one is there, I'll just get that undone. Same process, the cap off. It doesn't take long if they're not, if they're not stuck. Try and as you're undoing them, try to sort of pull them out a little bit as well, just so they're clear. So they're out now. Then we've got a bit on the front to do. I'll show you that. Now we've got like this little sort of spring-loaded sort of piece. <laughs> um, it sort of just holds, I think, everything in line. Just put that in like that. So it takes some little tabs out of them two holes, and then pull that out there, and then it's off. So now this should come off, okay. So now the caliper can come off. So that's off, I'll clean that up there at the moment. We'll get that one pad out. And yeah, there wasn't much meat left on them. But the wear light wasn't coming on. So, yeah, compared to that. Yeah, I think they need a change in. Um, so, yeah, um, I don't know why the wear light didn't come on unless the other one isn't worn so much. That one, there, just come out there, got like little spring loaded bits. And we have the wear indicator here that has to be pulled off, I think. Quite sure how that comes off.
Oh, just like that. I'd call that okay. Yeah, just slides out of there like that. So yeah, that one was poor as well. So we can get the new ones in, but I have to push the piston back. So I'll get G clamp and do that. And then we can get all this fit back together. It should be good. We'll get that pushed back. So next, next step. So now I've got this G clamp, I'm gonna fit it in there like so, and push, hopefully push that piston back. Yeah, how low they were, the brakes were good. The brakes were still good. I may have to get an adjustable spanner to wind it around, but it is going. Could have done with a little bit of um, brake cleaner on it really but haven't got any so i'll just have to go with it. i have got some copper grease for when it all goes back together so that's all right what i'll do is give, just give it off camera a quick um wire brush over yeah and a blow off as well and then that should be good i think that's back fully if you just get that clamp out Yep, and we'll um, give a, a bit of a clean, and I'll be back with you. I could use, I could use carb spray. I may use carb spray. Just give a quick clean down. So I'll be back with you when I've cleaned up and everything's going back on. So I've given a clean off, and I did find some uh, brake cleaner, so that was good. So I'll give it a bit of a clean down, and it's not too bad. A little bit. Yeah, we're all good to go. Um, so I could put the, this pad in now, that one there. So now I'm going to put that first pad back in. Push that in there like so. It's the one with the spring-loaded bits on the back. See? And that just goes and locks in into the piston. So now I've got to put the pad wear um, wire back in. The, the wear indicator wire. And I think the paint on the new pads are making it a little bit difficult. I don't know if it's gone in all right now. That's in. So that should be all good. So now we'll uh, work on the other pad. So now we'll get this other pad in. Uh, I'm just gonna put a bit of copper grease around the, around them bits. And on the other pad, I'll put it actually on the, well, behind on them bits as it's already in. So just a little bit on there and also, I'll put some on the back. We're going to put loads on it. That's enough. So now, the slide that pad in there. It should sit in there nicely, which it does. It should just be the simple job now of just pushing this over, which it does, sit over nicely. Uh, get them bolts back in. You haven't got to see me do both of them. Uh, you just see me do the top one, the here. This is one of the slider pins and you can see there's a bit of corrosion there and what you can do to just to make a slide better, you can just put a bit of um, copper grease on there and that helps it a little bit. So yeah, I shall probably do that on them all, even though they were sliding okay. So but anyway, just thought to show you that. So now we're going to get this bolt tightened up. Check it. Well, I will just check it a bit. It um, that it all went in okay, but I'm sure it did. The bottom is the same process. You haven't got to see that this time. It's going in okay. So I'll be back with you because I've got to still put the piece on at the front of the caliper. So I'll show you that when I tighten these up. So now I'm going to put that spring tie bit that holds the caliper from doing that back in. Nearly in. Just 
check that they're both behind where they should be and that is that is all good so all i have to do now and i will just double check the back bolts again that's tight i like to double check these things yep it's nice and tight i'll put them two dust caps back on And then I'll get Laura, my beautiful assistant. That's me. Just to press the brake and I'll show you it all going together in the caliper. Just gonna pump the brakes now. See that going in. Pump it again. Yep. All looking good. So that's this side done. You haven't got to see me doing the other side because it's exactly the same process. So all I'm gonna do is put the wheel back on. You haven't got to see that either. It's only put the wheel back on. You saw me get it off. It's exactly the opposite process. So I hope this video has helped you out. This is how you do the front brake pads on a Mercedes Sprinter 2004 uh, CDI 311. And yeah, that's, it's pretty simple really. So yeah, so I'll leave the video there. So thanks for watching and I'll be along with another video again soon. So bye for now.